Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today we are driving the Kenworth T600. This is a freeware truck you can get on the Steam Workshop. It doesn't have a whole lot of customization to it, but uh, it is compatible with Robinicus or uh, Rabinicus. His N14 sounds, and that's what we're using today. So we are in Lakeview, Oregon right now. We're going to Burns today. We're gonna pick up some lumber and head out. Um, all right, truck, I need to get around you in just a second here, bud. But we're gonna make a left turn into the place right here and pick up. So not a really long trip today, but that's all right. Got an 18 speed in this thing today, so we will be shifting. I'm still getting used to the gear ratios on this guy. All right, we are here. Let's talk to them and say, hey, where do you want us at? Looking at the cargo market, it is indeed lumber. 43,032 pounds of it. We're going to Lennar up there, so uh, shouldn't take too long. They want us in the back right corner to pick up. Okay, so I, we could make a right there, um, but I'm going to go this way instead. I don't remember this particular prefab, but um, it could be on that very, very edge over there, which you can still get there from the back, but I don't remember. We're about to find out, aren't we? Anywho, happy Wednesday to all of you. I hope you're having a great week so far. Good to see y'all. Gonna be back in American Truck Simulator again as well. And uh, just wanna say thank you, as always, you know. The love and support that uh, I have been getting recently in the comments and everything, I, I it doesn't go unnoticed. And I will always say thank you. Also wanna say a big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video. If you wanna know what I use, um, it's always linked in the description below. Oh, we're picking up right there. Easy enough. We'll just go down here and teardrop in. Um, it's all linked in the description below, but it's the TSPC Racer, which are hard to come by these days. I do understand that. Also, a big shout out to ATSAccessories.com for all the stuff I use. Again, everything linked in the description if you want to check it out there. I get a lot of questions about that. I look around freely with Track IR. Well, we got most of the big ones out of the way, didn't we? But uh, for those of you that don't know, I am an uh, a bass ambassador for Thrustmaster now, which is an incredibly awesome position to be in. Um, and the fact that they want me to represent their brand the way that uh, that I have over the years now in ambassadorship is fantastic. And we can talk about what that actually is because I don't think a lot of people talk about that stuff. All right, we're backing in right in this spot right here. There we go. I love the old T600s or the 660s. Um, in this one in particular, I gotta have it in red, you know? That's just a, that's a requirement for me. I love these, uh, these older Kenworths. There we go. It's a pretty good spot right there. we will load us up with some lumber. We might get into the evening time later on. If we do, I'll dim the lights in the cabin. But it's pretty plain Jane as far as the interior of the truck goes. Not a lot to see. It's got that, you know, even the newer, uh, Kenworths have the same kind of similar style to them these days. Okay, let's shut off the engine and we'll get loaded up. Loading the cargo into the night. There it is. Okay, 7.43 p.m. Man, it took them forever to load this thing up. You know what? We're going to take a late on this one today and we're just going to we're just gonna sleep here in advance time so we can drive during the day. I, I'm fine with taking a late on it. Not a big deal. Um, I just want to see this truck and see the see the world around us. Okay, we slept in our cab there. Just kidding. Use the console to advance time. Let's get out of here. And go ahead and start it up. It's our parking brake. And make sure we're good back there. Make sure they didn't disconnect our trailer or anything like that. No, we're we're nice and good. Sweet. Let's uh, kind of finagle our way around this little guy here. That was not a bad spot to pick up at all. I was pretty impressed by it. But let's talk about what a Thrustmaster ambassadorship is. So um, in the past, I've done sponsorships. And what those are is basically campaigns. And uh, you get, you know, a set amount of money uh, per campaign, basically. And with an ambassadorship, it's kind of like a salary. You're getting a, sum of, a, a big sum of money over a year of ambassadorship. Um, what's really cool about it is that it allows me to do what I already do. And that's the thing I, you know, the reason why I chose Thrustmaster in the beginning was because they let, they don't change our content here. Like, they just don't. Like I, I mentioned what I'm using. I say, hey, it's sponsored by them. Um, it's kind of proof is in the pudding. It's right here on the, the camera. 
and I really love working with them um, because of that reason. They don't ever ask me to change anything, do things I normally wouldn't do. If anything, what's cool about the ambassadorship is I will be covering console stuff, so I will have to buy a console soon, and uh, a couple consoles actually. I'm gonna have to get the Xbox One, is it Series X now, and then the PS5, so I can cover things like uh, Gran Turismo 7 and and all of that. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, another thing is, is it allows me to do giveaways, which I tend to do on my Twitch channel. If you guys aren't already following me over there on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash jfabiano. I'm live over there on Monday through Friday in the evening time. I thought we'd be able to skip gears here. Well, we'll do that in a minute. By the way, this uh, particular Jake break claps really well. But, as usual, I got off topic. I just wanted to say it's really, really cool to be in a position where I have an ambassadorship over just, you know, signing what are called MOUs, mutual agreements, rather than like a contract or whatever. But we've uh, worked with each other over the years so much that it just, it was a great fit. And uh, I'm extremely humbled that I get to work with them in the ways that I do. But, like I said, everything's linked. Uh, TLCM pedals. I'm a believer. It takes a while to get used to those things, by the way, because a load cell in the brake is like pressing pressure on a brake. But to me, in a re in a real car or truck or whatever, the the brake pedal has a lot more give. This you can change the springs out, but I still have the default ones um, that are on there. It doesn't have a whole lot of uh, of give to it, so it's a little more like a racing pedal, which I like personally. But if you don't, uh, you can always change those things out and make it more squishy as they say. But it's it's a learning curve to get used to it. Alright, let's go into 7 low here. Let's wrap it out. There it was. Almost there. Okay, with this particular gear, gear ratio and the, um, the load weight, I don't think I'm going to be skipping too many gears here because we're going to be getting everything we can out of these bad boys. Oh, hello. We have a train horn in this thing, by the way. Very cool. That's part of the sound fixes mod. And we will go over everything at the end of the video. We'll go over the mods. We'll go over all my settings. Um, it's about that time. I've been getting some questions about it, so I'm going to make sure we do that. Show my graphics settings, sound settings, controls, whatever. 60 through here? Man, that is kind of sketchy on this road. Well, we'll see. Told you that thing claps quite a bit. <laughs> Going down this hill, especially. I'll drop it into seven low for now. There we go. Uh, the whole rig, I, everything's attached to, is by Next Level Racing. They're a fantastic partner as well. And uh, you'll see my legs moving around and stuff like that. It's the Motion Platform V3. Right, like right there, we hit a hit a bump. So I am on a motion platform. It's a seat mover, more so than the whole platform moving. Because those things get really expensive. Um, this does exactly what I love. Is it gives me that feedback in when I'm, you know, driving or whatever. But what's really nice about it is that this is all on a, on rollers, so I can just push this away into a corner of my room and don't have to worry about it. Boy, this is always beautiful. I haven't been in Oregon in a while, honestly. It has been a bit. I'm a little rusty. I need to get back into doing some more uh, America Truck Sim streams as well because, man, when you haven't driven these things in a while, it you forget just how floaty some of the suspensions on them can be. Uh, fallen rocks. I also tend to rubberneck a lot when I'm playing this game. For no other reason than it's just pretty, you know. Oh man, like that. You forgetting you gotta really yank this wheel sometimes. It's a lovely a real SCI wheel. Mysterian Creations. An 18-inch wooden black wheel, painted wood. Yeah, from the four state truck stop in Joplin, Missouri. Online. Bought it online. 
but you can get an SEI hub off of ATS accessories, and that's what I use. It sounds like I'm just rattling off like a bunch of products and stuff. I'm just trying to get ahead of all the questions I always, always get asked of what I use, where they can get it, things like that. Man, this is like a, this feels weird. This thing is so big, these T600s. It is like, I don't know why I'm having a, a real struggle with the speed versus the amount of body roll on this truck. I mean, she's a, it's a big truck, like no messing around. There's no line to that. Got a great sound set in it though. I do like it. All right, let's actually use our brakes here a little bit. Careful around these tight corners, man. I am getting the feels today off the motion platform, left and right, left and right, which is great. Gotta really slow down for these, man. Very excited for Texas. I don't know when that's coming. A lot of people seem to speculate that Montana will be out before Texas, and maybe that's true. But I don't know. It's anybody's guess. But I am super excited, super, super excited for the PMDG 737 that's coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Like, that's just going to be so great. And I will be doing a lot of people have been asking where Flight Sim content's been. Uh, it will return, especially with that. Um, just flying the same planes over and over again. You know, I, I want to change things up. But I have a feeling when the 7.3 comes out, we're going to be flying kind of all over the place. Don't you worry about that. Right. Trucks are 60 through here. More of a flat land. Let's crack these windows. One of the things I one of the things I love about the Z mod sounds is this wind sound you get when you crack the windows. Reminds you of being on a road trip when you have the windows just cracked, you know? very immersive one thing I uh, haven't done in a while is I haven't used my VR in this game none other than the reasons that if you're looking into getting a headset I mean man the oculus were great when I used them but their move over to Facebook and that whole meta stuff I'm like I don't I didn't want to be a part of it so I went with the reverb g2 I own the Reverb G2, but I really do not like the Windows Mixed Reality. Um, it's, it's what you would expect out of a Windows product where things just don't work as intended sometimes. I've had so many issues with it. Apparently, the Reverb itself needs a new, new cable. None of these companies that make VR headsets can get these cables right on the first try, which, I mean, it makes sense, you know. It's not the easiest thing in the world that we're trying to do is give you a virtual reality experience and it's a tiny little lightweight headset but it is very frustrating when it doesn't work as intended and uh that's the reason why i've been using it lately in my free time because i used to drive in american truck sim a lot in my free time with my headset it's the the best way to drive honestly yeah we can skip this gear at least there we go I get into the gear too early, so that's why she's grinding, which is fine. Check it out. Haven't been here in a while in this particular spot. The store, the Billy store archery. Oh, it's awesome. 28 miles to Burns. Yeah, I'm glad we're going to take the late on this one. We'll take the L because it's beautiful through here, especially on a nice sunny, bright day like this, man. Whew. And I don't use any graphics mods at all. I think there are some out there that might be worth checking out. If you guys know of any that uh, are fantastic, let me know in the comments below. Would love to hear about it. What did we all think about the Auto Club uh, race, the NASCAR race last Sunday? I thought it was amazing, fantastic. Uh, I'm confident that NASCAR will get the Oh, okay, that guy's passing us in there. Ultima. Um, 
I'm confident they'll get the tire issues fixed, but the, the racing that the next gen is producing is great stuff. Makes me very happy. Now let's roll our windows up here. It's windy out. Just kidding. <laughs> Feels like it's windy when you have those down. Just a little bit. Man, I have really been struggling with my uh, sleep lately. It's just all the blue light and all that stuff. I, I really don't know, but like I've always had insomnia for the most part, but it's been, it's been pretty bad lately. I haven't been able to sleep as well as I want to. And it's also allergy season down here, which brings me up to uh, the next thing I want to talk about, which is a huge deal. Um, we are going to be selling our house um, probably at the end of the year. We're going to move back to Missouri, back to St. Louis. And the reason why is because, well, we've been down here in Florida for like five years. We've experienced Florida. I think we've done everything we wanted to do in Florida. Uh, it's been fantastic. But, you know, five years away from your family being like right down the road from you, it's, it's tough. And uh, we're starting to really feel that. And not to mention, we were thinking about moving to Charlotte, North Carolina is the next place. Like, if we're going to the same climate area, we might as well go back to Missouri, but not living in St. Louis, more on the outskirts of St. Louis. Slow down big time for this turn. I know this one's going to catch us out. Ooh. Yeah, it's this truck has such body roll to it on the motion platform than other trucks. That's why I'm, it feels like I'm hanging on to the wheel. But nothing against, uh, you know, Florida or anything. We've just done everything we wanted to down here. We're not really people that settle in. Some people like that. They like to settle. They'll work a job in the same town until they die. Um, we're not those people at all. Never have been. But I think it'll be nice. And then who knows? You know, after Missouri, I go go out west or something different. You never know. Really never know. Okay, that guy sounds really mean. Is that that AMG in front of us we're hearing? Kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? So I want to put it towards the end of the video because I'm sure there'll be people that have their opinions about, for whatever reason, us moving where we would like to, to move to and our family and stuff like that. All right, this is where we're going with the lumber. Makes sense. They need all this lumber for these houses they're building. Nope, it's somebody behind us. It's not that AMG. It's somebody else. It's that old truck. That's what it is. Nice. The old Chevy. All right, we have made it here. Where do they want this stuff, though? That's the question. Looks like it's back in that corner, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So I'm going to go left and then right, snake around. Oh, I see where they want it to be right there. All right, if we come down, I think we go around the subdivision and we come out, we'll be in a good spot there. Let's do that. And while we do this, I'm going to go to the outside view so we can just see how beautiful this truck is. Now that we're in this small little neighborhood that is to be, and just kind of drive around and enjoy the sights of American Truck Sim. Looks awesome. I'll put my hazards back on and turn them off because that clicking man can were so pretty pretty loud in the interior with those I do love this step deck trailer from Bart it is a payware trailer we got a free truck and a paid trailer but man I mean the the difference in the paid trailers is pretty astounding especially when it comes to the different loads you can get and how it all looks it's just awesome all right, we're going to be dropping right over here. So we're just going to snake to the left of this little gravel pit. That's another thing you can do. Those pods right there. That's another one of these trailers that we have here. You can always take pods as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just kill my hazards for this one. We're, we're good on that. Uh, I'm going to hug the left, go to the right, and then left. And then we should be in a good spot for this setup. It shouldn't take much. These uh, split axles on the step decks, man, it can really throw you off sometimes. It doesn't like to... To turn as much as you would like it to. Yeah, we just kind of follow this line here. And then to the left, you should be able to get this in a decent spot. I'm going to roll these windows down here. Gonna look out our window. Yep, we get that back tire 
on the line will be in a good spot. So now we can increase our angle on the trailer and it should work out for us. When that second one hits there like that, we're going to start bringing the truck back underneath it. I might have turned a little too late. I tend to do that a lot with these. That's okay. Once we get it to there, we'll just go to the right a little bit and shallow it out. Although it's a little tough here because you have this dirt mound right here on you. That's what makes this drop off a little more challenging than you would think it is. Okay, come on. We'll keep on coming back. We have to get this truck straight. Oh, before we hit that. Man, okay, so we screwed that whole up. That whole uh, setup up. We're going to pull up. We need to get more of the left on this guy in particular. What I should have done right here. That's one of the biggest things that I've noticed I do wrong in setups is I don't give my truck enough room. Sometimes I just stop too early. See, and this time we can actually get this thing to naturally go back. without having to be on that dirt mound. That's working much better now. Yeah, we're good. I can feel the truck wanting to drive up on the dirt, but we're still fine here. That's just the difference right there of, uh, you know, giving your truck room compared to not, basically. They might take that, but I'm going to go to the right a little bit more, I think, if they don't want it there in green. Yeah, they'll take it. We will too. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect today. All right, let's shut the engine off here. And of course we got a late. That's what uh, we expected out of it. Not a big deal, but 135 miles is what we actually took there. Um, hit continue here and I'll show you around. Starting in the options under graphics, this is everything I have here. Uh, good old 1440p, 143 Hertz. Uh, V-Sync, I had to enable with the new update of American Truck Sim before I had it disabled. Um, and it was giving me screen tearing today. So I had to put enabled on that. I normally have that disabled, but that was an interesting one. Scaling's a big one, 400%. That makes everything look so crisp and beautiful. I know it's demanding on the graphics card. I have a RTX 2080 Super um, to get the job done. Anti-aliasing and high, medium on SSAO. Depth of field off, sun shafts on. I do not like the look of the color correction, so I have that turned off. Reflection scaling at 100%. Um, and then I have high all the way down to ultra where weather quality is. Mirror quality on medium. This prevents any stuttering I get in the game. Um, mirror resolution, same stuff like that. These are the these three right here can really have effect on stuttering when you're driving down the road. Uh, texture quality on high, and it's a tropic filtering all the way up, and then everything ticked and high on light visibility ranges. Next is audio. There you go. Everything I have set up. I have my master volume turned down so I don't blow my eardrums out when I'm playing. Um, and then uh, it's kind of up to you, however you want it to be. But uh, voice navigation's enabled. Um, I use Zmods, Freeware, uh, TomTom, Lori uh, for the voice. And then uh, you can hear it by hitting preview if you'd like. Uh, voice over noise, all the CB radio stuff. It's kind of whatever you want it to be. Um, audio settings, you know, I was backup beeper turned off. Uh, rumble strips are turned on. Everything turned on. Whatever you want it to be. It's kind of up to you. Gameplay, um, this is where I have fatigue simulation turned off because I never really use it. Uh, Traffic offense is turned on, preferred drop job length right there. Um, whatever you want it to be. A lot of this is just kind of what you want. Automatic parking dialogue, I turn that off so it doesn't ask me. Um, it's automatically going to be skilled parking is what I have, has, I have it set at. There we go. Figured that sentence out. Uh, random road events turned down. They get annoying after a while. Detour, same. Rain probability, it's it's kind of whatever you want it to be. Uh, time zones, full info, cutscenes on, invert mouse is off. Um, here we go. I use the H shifter um, and then steering auto center is turned on. Animation range is set to 900 degrees. Braking intensity, uh, I have it right there. Truck stability, it's all the way up there. Um, trailer stability all the way down. Um, truck stability, I can turn that down even further, but in this particular truck, the reason why I turned that up is because she was rolling pretty good. Uh, advanced trailer coupling, you know, things that you want. Uh, these are all your preferences, of course. Uh, moving on down. Trailer cables I have is set to player. I don't have it on the traffic because I was just trying to save any frames. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't played around with that to see what it actually does. And then uh, moving down here, realistic fuel consumption, cruise control steps, etc., etc. Camera settings, whatever you want it to be. 
regional set settings you know this is all up to you convoy settings who cares um so moving on from there we go to controls keys and buttons um pretty much whatever you want it to be they, these there's nothing that um uh, other than you know opening and closing your windows you have to set those buttons up there not there by default in controls this is everything i use here um i have wheel h shifter economy mode for the auto adapt the adaptive automatic transmission uh, steering sensitivity i set to that and on linearity set to that it works out for me it's kind of up to you wherever you want everything at overall gain for me and force feedback in the middle i don't like a lot of the engine resonance in there which is weird because in the real world you do feel a lot of that in the wheel um and maybe i'll change that over time it just it makes too much noise uh when i'm recording videos uh moving down from there steering axis whatever you want it to be here's the shifter layout i use eaton fuller 18 speed advanced clutch or throttle um we we're floating gears so uh, if you have it set to advance and you have everything set up realistically, you can actually do that. Uh, and then shifter toggle one and two. These are my the buttons that I had on the actual shifter you saw today. Uh, and then whatever you want it to be. And last but certainly not least, my mod manager. Everything I have. Keep in mind, everything on the right-hand side is not just thrown in there willy-nilly. Everything is in a certain spot for a reason. You have to load these in in a good way. That guy is no more. Uh, we can get rid of him. Um... When you see those reds that we were on the newest version of american truck simulator so everything you see here was working fine i had no issues with it at all uh starting with a realistic mirror fov that is a must um would really love for scs to add that eventually uh real logos for the john ruda mods that's for payware stuff photo camera no limits um eaton filter ultra shift plus at vxp these are just things that you can google in and go hey i want to have these as well have it at it wherever you find it you find it a lot of these are going to be on the steam workshop some are not uh, a lot of them are on the SCS forums, etc. Um, I do not link my mods for obvious reasons. I've gone over it in the past. Uh, municipal police traffic pack is a big one. Any of the Jazzy Cats, those things are fantastic. Um, those are uh, those are probably out of date by now, actually. Probably have to update them again. Um, and then painted truck traffic pack. U.S. asphalt patch of random events. That gives you those bumps just kind of randomly, like hitting a, a pothole or something like that. I do use realistic truck physics mod by frkn64 i absolutely love them um bright headlights icons they did update that so now you get these things instead of the x you get that uh, kind of candy stripe looking square now um that's how i get the lines on the ground and not the floating orbs and all that real ai traffic sounds ats 143 uh these are all the z mods sounds and uh, a lot of these are freeware all of these especially here are all freeware i'll let you know when they get into uh payware it's down here where you get into the interior effects sound packs and the engine uh sounds themselves so awesome creech bomb uh creech bombs engine sound pack 3.4 um and tire sounds all this stuff here's all the payware z mods uh engines fantastic stuff engine sounds there these are just uh def files for like john ruda's sound fixes pack that's how we had that train horn today um that fixes a lot of the sounds in the game wheels for usa trailers don't worry about that that's the payware I have arrow two for trucks um that is just the upgraded newer arrow uh, packages for the fleet trucks so i have that um sisl's trailer pack usa uh is something i always run that's how you get a lot of those real world looking companies out there on the road uh sunbury this is all just uh textures for trucks and trailers um you can you know whatever you want it to be you can get it um and then this is all payware trailer stuff um especially with uh john ruda's trailer packs and then i have bart's stuff down here in fact, that Max step deck you saw today right there. There she is. The base uh, file for that and customer file. Keys and all that stuff for it. It is payware uh, for Bart's and it's uh, B4RT. You just Google that. You'll go right to their site. You'll be good to go if you are interested in any of that stuff. Uh, moving down, realistic corner shop. Um, so another one is the SISL's trailer pack add-on SES replacement. I run that. I do love that. Uh, realistic corner shop. Real Gas Station's uh, Revival Project. These things you can find on Grimes WordPress, and these are all on the forums. You'll be able to find them there, especially the real companies, gas stations, and billboards. Uh, US Alcoa Wheel Pack. I love this thing by Rocksteady. Uh, Smarties Wheel Pack. Fantastic stuff. Uh, that's just a picture, or not a picture. That's a texture for uh, my John Ruta W900. Uh, and then we have some more textures for trucks along the lines. Uh, the Freightliner Cascadia with a big, huge sleeper on it. Um, Classic XL DLC. 
Um, then you have, these are all just uh, payware stuff. This is all payware um, compatibilities, things like that. Um, SASL's Mega Pack, I have that down here. Uh, that's a big one. That's how you get, you know, your smartphones and all that stuff. Everything you want in the cabin that you see in my videos, you have SISL's Mega Pack to thank for that. Uh, moving on to that, I have Dom's Awesome 379. Uh, moving on from that, this is all payware stuff, payware stuff, payware stuff. Remember payware trucks. Uh, real advertisements, I throw right there. I put this one right above my other ones I have here for my Project Mid Atlantic. Um, and then coast to coast, I have at the very, very, very bottom there, which is probably out of date now. I'll have to update that as well. Uh, and then reform us uh, compatibility patches. Those are required for the Project Mid Atlantic coast to coast. So that's all of my mods that I use. Quite a few of them, I know. There's a lot of method to the madness, as you can see how everything is stacked up. You want to keep all certain kinds of mods in certain orders. Um, it really helps with stability in the game. That's going to do it for this episode of America Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of the T600 in the comments below. And also, uh, hopefully this helped you get your America Truck Sim looking like mine. I'll see you next time. Take care.